We haven't really like done in between cools that like recast someone who becomes the original character after that. You know, what I'm, I'm saying it's like the, you have Al Pacino in one and two, and then you have somebody else in some movie they made decades later, and you go back to Al Pacino in Godfather three. That would be odd, and I don't think a lot of movies play around with that kind of thing. But because De Niro and Vito and all that was kind of its own kind of side story in the second one, you can kind of get away with having a carte blanche. Like, okay, you understand where we are in the story, but this is our through our lens now what we're doing and they could tell the complete story instead of the snippets we got because you know like you i love that stuff and i feel like that could have been truly its own movie and i felt like there were a little too many gaps there like i felt we jumped ahead i'm like oh i wanted to see more like his true rise to power right he kills the don but then he seems to be the guy in charge surely there would have been more to it and then how he becomes you know he goes from where he is at the end of the flashbacks of two to who he is in the godfather one so that would I, I that's that's an interesting idea and i'm sure you know if they ever do try and remake the godfather right uh, that would be an interesting angle to kind of do it in quote unquote chronological order. You know, like you start with young Vito and you kind of see where the story takes you from there. Yeah, I mean, like, it's like what you were saying there, you know, to fill those gaps. It's like Star Trek. Like, what do you do with the next Star Trek series? You set it pre TOS, but post Enterprise, right? That's like, that's total gold. <laughs> you can't go wrong there. Yeah, you know, that's. Can't go wrong. You know what, Brandon? How did I forget? That's exactly what they're doing. Like you have, well, you have Leonard Nimoy as Spock in the cage, and you have Leonard Nimoy as Spock in the original series. Then it's like, oh no, here's here's Ethan Peck as Spock in Discovery. Now I, I will say, um, we have as of this recording, right? This will come out way after it's, I assume, official. But there was that leaked image of Ethan Peck as Spock, clean shaven and in the blue uniform. I said, you know what? That looks like Spock. I can connect more. Because I visually can see Spock there, not this guy in a beard and a leather Neo outfit that he's wearing on Discovery Season 2, but Neo from The Matrix I'm referring to. So, Why do you hate America? <laughs> anyway, Brandon, I believe in America. So, do you have, and then, you know, this is a, just to close this out here, What do you have a favorite line, a favorite quotable from The Godfather trilogy, any of them? Like, what's your favorite line, or one you might use the most, maybe, in conversation? Oh, it's, I don't know, like, they've all got good ones, like, make him an offer he can't refuse, leave the gun, grab the cannoli, you know, uh, just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Don't like, ask me about my business, so many... K. Don't ask me about my kids, business, K. You know, now who's being you know, naive? That's... Now who's being naive, Brandon? <laughs> you are. <laughs> Definitely. You can act like a man! <laughs> that's, I really like that. Well, I think that's your favorite. <laughs> so I try to quote it when I can. <laughs> But no, I mean, you this, just go through life doing that. If there, if there, really though, if there was like a book of like hundred best quotes of Hollywood, I, at least fifteen of them got to be from The Godfather, right? Yeah, I think so. And then the rest of them are from uh, Star Trek Discovery. <laughs> yeah, we, we love Star Trek Discovery here on Franchise Fatigue. Zach. This is great. Thank you for joining me again today. We got coming up next, we've got the Toy Story series, followed by Jaws, followed by the Terminator. So those are the next, uh, what is that, 14 movies that we're covering? So yeah. So that'll be the next uh, couple of months for you guys. You've got a friend in me for those, Brandon. Yeah, just a little preview, guys. For me, I've never seen a Toy Story sequel. I've only seen Toy Story 1. What? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to have a unique oh perspective goodness. on these uh, Toy Story sequels, so. Just like the Godfather movies, two and three are five star films. Two, what about one? Five, that's a five star movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I see. I see what you mean. Like, Just I'm like the Godfather that. series. I'm hoping it continues with Toy Story four. But yeah, well, now you a... spoiled it for everyone. Now everyone knows what rating you're going to give it. But anyway, oh we'll see. Goodness. We'll find They're out. Five star so. movies, and of course, it's Toy Story. you know. With Fantasize Fatigue here, right? We're doing some, like, just franchises we pick, right? And then some we try to tie into new releases, like we did Pet Cemetery because the remake came out. Toy Story 4 is coming um, this summer, so we're tying into that. And then, you know, Jaws 5 is coming, as you all know. No, I'm just kidding. But... <laughs> Dang it, you had me all excited so, yeah, there so for that's... a second. <laughs> so Jaws 5, we'll talk about that in our recap of, of the Jaws franchise. But anyway, yes, uh, lots of lots more to look forward to the Terminator. this year Terminator this fall. Fatigue. Terminator, yeah, I can't wait yeah. for that. No oh, fate. I'm so no, no. excited. Dark, dark fate. They should have called it No Fate, but I we'll agree, talk about that when we get to the movie, won't we? Maybe they'll change the title by then. Maybe. It's been known, it's been known to happen before. Yeah. So. Excellent. Right on. We don't need to do the recap, do we? Like, where to find us? No, you guys know where we are. Yeah, you know where we are. So listen to every other episode. I'm ready for bed. I'm going to go to bed. So until next time, there's a snake in my boot.
This has been a production of MTMR Media Works.